Hey y'all, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to look at a little bit of literacy. I feel like we do a good job going over our math and our Zoom meetings, and I want to make sure that we're getting to do some literacy as well. So today you are supposed to do the read and respond portion of the vocabulary. It has five different questions, and in those five different questions, it will tell you if you got the answer right or not. So let's go through these together. It'll be fun. Nutrition is eating well so that your body has energy to live, grow, and move. There's no one magic food that provides everything your body needs. Good nutrition is about balancing all different kinds of foods. Different foods have different nutrients. Nutrients are natural substances that help our bodies work. There are six major nutrient groups we need to balance. Carbohydrates, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals, and water. So our question here was, when you practice good nutrition, you. So we're going to look at that. You never try new foods. So good nutrition, we know, needs different foods. So different foods would mean you might have to try new ones. So we know it's not going to be A. They focus on one type of nutrient. Mm. We need a balance for good nutrition. So we, a balance would mean that you would need all of those nutrients. You would need the carbohydrates, the proteins, the fats, the vitamins, and the minerals. You eat a mix of different foods and nutrients. Okay, we have right there different foods and nutrients. Um, so that's definitely a possibility. Let's just make sure we don't overlook anything. Find a magic food that has everything you need. Hmm. Um, I think our best answer, now D, that would be great. We could practice good nutrition with a magic food, uh, but we, our best answer choice would be, which one? Let's see. Yeah, so good job, guys. Uh, the passage states, good nutrition is about balancing all different kinds of foods. Different foods have different nutrients. So here we're matching that specific evidence that the author is using to talk about good nutrition. Let's look at our next one. Carbohydrates are the body's favorite source of energy. Eating them is like filling up a car with gasoline. They help you get moving. Carbs are found in many foods, including fruits, vegetables, beans, and grain foods like pasta, bread, and rice. When it comes to grains, whole grains like brown rice and whole wheat bread contain more healthy nutrients. So that's a, that's a good point right there. It's giving you um, something that is more healthy. So you want to make that note in your mind. What is more healthy when we're talking about carbohydrates? Well, it's right here. Whole grains and whole wheat contain more healthy nutrients than white rice and bread. So if you compare it to white rice and white bread, the whole is going to be better. And it's because it keeps you full longer. They keep you full and energized for a long time. Which of the following has most healthy nutrients? White rice, white bread, vanilla cake, and whole wheat pasta. Let's look at our answer choices. Which one can we eliminate right now? Which one do you just know is not healthy off the top of your brain? Vanilla cake. I'm not going to go with that one. And then when we looked right back to here, whole grains were more healthy than white rice and bread. So if we look at our answer choices, um, white rice, we found something that's healthier than white rice and white bread. And we know vanilla cake is the unhealthiest. And then there we are. We have the whole, that word whole, which told us that it was more healthy, um, whole wheat pasta. So that is going to be our answer for that one. Okay. So then let's move on to our next question. So that one would be um, D. Let's see. 
confirm answer. Yeah, that's what the passage states, the part that I highlighted. You may have heard some people say that fat is bad for you, but our bodies need some fat. Fat is an important part of healthy nutrition. Fat is like a piggy bank for energy. If you don't eat for a while, your body can get energy from the fat it has saved. Fat also cushions your organs, carries other nutrients around the body, and helps you feel full. Some healthy sources of fat include avocados, nuts, olive oil, and fish. So looking at fats, I told you there was going to be more to fats than what we had learned yesterday, which um, was just that it was a, a storing of energy was the difference. So carbohydrates gives you energy. The fats is stored energy within your body. Um, the piggy bank, the piggy bank stores your money. The fat um, is stored in your body. It's a storage for energy. And so it's saved there for you. Also, it, it does protect your organs. The fat does. And also it helps keep you warm. That those layers of fat are going to help your body stay warm and help you regulate body temperature um, for warmth. And also something that's not necessarily mentioned in here, but is the fatty acids that are in omegas, which is in the fish there. That's also good for brain development. So you want to have some of the, those fats for your brain development. Now, there are bad fats. There are some that are just not good for you. They're the oily fats, um, not like olive oil, but like uh, the oil French fries are fried in, um, probably like vegetable oil, things like that. Not necessarily good for you. But anyway, I digress. Which of these is a healthy source of fat? Candy bars? What do you think? Almonds? Mm -hmm. Almonds are a what? Almonds are a nut. Burgers. Cheese. Now, cheese may not be a bad choice. However, cheese is, um, I don't know about cheese fat content. I would say it would have some, but it's not, or maybe even a lot. I don't know cheese fat content, but it's not in this text. And nuts is directly in this text. So we're going to go with almonds as our best answer. Because I'm not really sure about cheese as fat. I know cheese has a lot of protein. That's what I know about cheese and dairy. So we're going to go with almonds. Another macronutrient, that macro means small, that helps us grow and develop is protein. And that doesn't mean it's small as in not important. That means it's small as in um, it's made up of tiny pieces. Is protein. Proteins are sometimes called building blocks because they are what our muscles, bones, blood, hair, skin, and nails are made out of. Proteins also help keep our immune system strong so that we don't get sick. You can find protein in meat like eggs, fish, no, I'm sorry, you can find protein in meat like chicken, fish, beef, lamb, and pork. You can also find it in beans, eggs, tofu, and nuts. So there's some different places you can find your protein that you need. You can be a vegetarian and still get the protein that you need. You do not necessarily have to eat meat to get the protein that is necessary for your daily tasks. So um, scrambled eggs with black beans. Okay, our eggs is specifically in our evidence, so let's keep that in our mind. Um, beans is specifically in our evidence, so we're going to keep that in our mind. Pasta with tomato sauce. Don't see that up there. It's not up there. Pasta is a carb. Chips and guacamole. Now, we know avocados have fats, but it's not in our text evidence. Chips is a carbohydrate. Toast with butter. Um, toast with butter is going to be a carbohydrate because it's bread and the butter is going to be the fats. So when we go back to that, we have our eggs and beans 
in choice A, and you can see right there is the evidence that that's the best answer. Also, side note, uh, black beans are a really good source of fiber. Sometimes it can be hard to get enough fiber, and fiber is important for our diet to help keep us regular with going to the bathroom, which can be very important for us. So just keep that in your mind that black beans are uh, one of the best sources from beans for fiber. It has high fiber content. So that has the most protein. And we got that one right. So um, next is, sorry, I was looking, I was double checking from our last slide the word macro and what that means as a root meaning. And I'm going to get back to you on that because I just wanted to double check that that's what it meant. So it's looking like macro can actually, it's actually large, not small. That's what I was thinking, that macro was not micro. Micro is small. So I was thinking I might have a misconception there, and it's looking like I did. So I'm glad I took a second to look at that. Um, so macro is actually going to be a, a large nutrient. So in that last slide when it said macronutrient and I said that that was small, that it was made up of small things, that would have been if it was micro, like microscopic means tiny. So I just had a misconception moment, but I, it triggered in my mind. I wanted to make sure macro means large, macro, large, micro, small. Okay. Vitamins and minerals are two more nutrient groups the body needs. They are found in fruits, vegetables, beans, grains, eggs, meat, milk, and other foods. Different vitamins and minerals have different jobs in the body. For example, vitamin D helps strengthen bones and the immune system. Vitamin K helps the body heal from cuts and scrapes. Magnesium, a mineral, can help you get a good night's sleep. Potassium helps your heart stay healthy. Vitamins and, vitamins, vitamins and minerals work with carbohydrates, protein, fat, and water to keep your body working the way it should. Which of the following is true about vitamins and minerals? Vitamins are more important than minerals. I did not see that anywhere in that evidence. Vitamins and minerals do not come from food. Okay, um, right here, they are found in food. Really not giving us a lot of tricky answer choices there. Many different foods contain vitamins and minerals. Okay, we see right there, there's a long list of different foods. So definitely a contender for an answer choice. Vitamins and minerals all have the same job in the body. Um, I don't think so. Strengthening bones, immune systems, healing, cuts, scrapes, sleep. Those are all different jobs of what the vitamins are helping with. So our best answer choice, our only answer choice is vitamins and minerals. Oh, not that one. Many different foods contain vitamins and minerals. And also, I just want to point out something, our write about reading that we did yesterday. We were going through each of the six nutrients and saying what it would be, how it would be bad if we didn't have those for our body and what it would be like without those nutrients. And in that, we went and we I paired vitamins and minerals together, even though I was reading them separately. And they did that here too. So that just made me feel even more reinforced in my writing from yesterday that I paired those together. I just had a happy moment. So I'm going to submit these. Because I used my text evidence, I made a 100. I analyzed my answer choices. I went back in the text and looked for what made sense. And I made a 100. And I know you can to um, when we use the text that we're looking at. So for today in literacy, you have, oh, it's looking like it's not going to switch screens. I'm wondering, did I record this wrong? Let's see if I can change it. 
Okay, guys, it looks like the wrong setting is on this recording, so I can't show you the new tab. But this is the portion of the assignment today for the read and respond. So hopefully it helped you to be able to walk through that together. And if I get a chance, I'll walk you through the other literacy as well. Bye.